The live well timer is used to control the well pump, to ensure low power consumption and the optimal environment for bait or a fish. It features the initial priming period followed by three configurable variable speed phases. For example, the timer could be configured to initially run the 10 seconds at full speed to prime, and then switch to low speed for 2 minutes, and higher speed for 10 seconds. All the durations and pump speeds are configurable to accommodate a wide variety of pumps and well designs. In this video we will describe how to connect the timer to the battery and pump, followed by the timer's configuration and testing. At the end of the video, we will cover optional overrides, so keep watching to the end. First, let's take a look at the connections. The power to the timer is connected to the red wire, ground to black, and yellow is the output connected to the pump. The green and blue wires are optional overrides described at the end of the video. The white wire is only used to enable the timer's configuration mode. The orange wire is not used for this model. Connect red, yellow, and black according to the diagram. You can turn the power on to the timer and the timer will perform initial 5 seconds priming. Now we can enable the configuration mode to change the default timing. You would need a smartphone, tablet, or laptop to configure the timer. After you supply power to the timer, take the white wire and momentarily connect it to the ground. The internal blue LED will turn on, indicating the timer is in the configuration mode. Now you need to search for Wi-Fi networks near you with the phone or tablet. Once you find the Wi-Fi network generated by the timer called Timer's Shop, connect to it. You might get a message that internet connectivity is not available. That is okay, as you are connecting the phone directly to the timer. Once connected, open the browser and enter the following address. 192.168.4.1 and click Go. You will see the following menu. Click on the Edit Configuration. The menu is self-explanatory. You enter the time duration for priming and the output speed. The priming period executes only after the initial power-up. The timer will cycle through periods 1, 2, and 3. Set the period's durations and output duty cycle. Enter 0 in the duration to skip the period. Click Save. Now you can test the timer by powering it off and on. Let's talk about optional overrides. The blue wire allows you to externally override the output of the timer. For example, if you want the timer to produce 50% duty output without cycling, configure the 50% for the blue wire in the timer's configuration. You can connect the switch between the blue wire and power. When you flip the switch the output will be set to 50% duty until you turn the switch off. The green wire allows re-triggering of the priming period. When green is connected to power, the timer will run the configured priming period followed by the cycling phases. That is it. Thank you for watching the video. Happy fishing!